Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, it's a good energy today. So happy Tuesday. The fairies want to come out to play. So we're going to um, to play with the fairies. I'm going to try and do a Celtic cross today. And I've got messages from your angels here as well. What your angels want you to know. Let's start with them. Okay. A 44 card deck. And the guidebook. Okay, don't forget to read the guidebook. Well, let's have a look then. Let's see what story wants to come out. Let me just move my cursor. What's that mean? No swearing today. No cursing today, Lucy. Let's have a, a no swearing day. Okay. We can try. Okay, let's have a look and see what the message is. Is this why we can't swear? You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching or parenting children. Okay, I might swear. My children, I know, swear, but they don't swear at me. Okay, or in front of me. Hi, Jasper. Okay, he's licking his lips. Ah, oh, you found the tuna I put on the floor. Okay, well... In a bowl on the floor. I didn't just put tuning on the floor, guys. Okay. Was it nice? I wonder who would find it. You did. You got yourself a treat. Did you leave any for the others? A little bit. Okay. Let's read this um this message. Children respond to your open-hearted nature. Oh, I'm a bit shaky. I think we know when to swear, don't we, and when not to. I, I mean, I most definitely would like to think that I do. Okay, sometimes the occasional one might slip out, but um, I think we know how to behave, just like I suppose my children, you know, not swearing at me, in front of me, I never have, and it's not really, it's not something I've told them that they're not allowed to swear. They just, they're quite respectful and do not swear. But we're watching the swearing today. That's cool. Children respond to your open-hearted nature. You're also charmed by their straightforward honesty, laughter and innocence. Do you know what? Kids are my favourite people to hang out with. I choose them over adults any day. Sorry, guys, but it's the truth. In many ways, they engage and heal your own inner child. You seek to give these children that which you desired when you were young. You also feel an inner calling to improve the lives of children. And you may wonder about the best way to proceed. I am with you as a guardian angel who delights in bringing you new opportunities to help children. All you need to do is notice the young people whom I bring into your orbit. Be your delightful self with these children and the rest will take care of itself. As soon as you're ready for an increased role, please say the word to me and I will increase the number of lives you touch. Please be assured that I understand your temperament and will only bring you to situations that match your passions, talents and interests. You are a blessing to children everywhere. Is that why I'm sent the teenagers? The rowdy ones? <laughs> the ones that have filthy mouths? Oh, okay. Okay, so very much working on light work mission, guys. If you feel that you're able to help more people with your um, gentle nature, um, then ask the divine to send you um, more people, put you in touch with more people. Hi, Jasper. I was just about to do a Celtic cross. Okay. Do you like children, Jasper? Look, she's got a little harp there. Ah, oh, look. She's sleeping. Okay, you watch over the children then. <sighs> I feel like I need to get another message. Um, just seeing as these faces right there. Should we get another one? Near the kids playing outside by chance. 
You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Okay. In the past, you have settled for less than you wanted, but no more. I'm here to raise your standards. I'm also here to show you that you need not suffer in any way. It isn't selfish to desire a better life. The more that you receive, the more you are able to give to others. When you allow us to give to you, you're also supplied with all the necessary tools for your life's purpose. You also inspire others when you show that the spiritual path gives you all the support you could ever need. That's being a great role model, isn't it, for children? Okay, inspiring others when you show them that the spiritual path gives you all of the support you could ever need. God and the angels want you to enjoy your life. Happiness is a holy part of your divine mission. Whatever we can do to bring joy and peace into your life, please ask. We have noticed a reluctance on your part to ask for help. Perhaps you have felt that you didn't deserve good or that you will be taken away from someone if you received our help. Yet God only knows abundance and humans are the only ones who believe in scarcity. This card is a reminder that God and the angels can only intervene if you request our help. So, what do you think, guys? Really ready to step into your mission? To live that better life, to inspire others to live that better life as well? They're two beautiful cards. Jasper, I'm going to put them there. How am I going to do this Celtic cross, Jasper? I felt like the colours were like boys and girls here. Um, okay. Wow. How are we going to do this? So the important key that I picked up there was you need to ask, guys. The angels cannot intervene and help you, okay, with your happiness, your abundance, your purpose, unless you ask them to step in and intervene. And to put you in touch with all that you um, you truly desire and what you're here to experience. Okay, I'm going to try and do this Celtic cross. I can do it without it being the cross, that's okay. We'll just take it one step at a time. Okay, so what we're we talking about, the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine coming together, is that you? Are you looking over them little lambs? Those lost little lambs. We're looking after all the black sheep of the families, okay? They're the ones that you want to pay attention to. They're well clued up. Okay, so we've got the strength card here. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. Well, that's really kind of you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. I feel this is the masculine and feminine energy here. Um, so it will resonate with whoever it resonates with because I don't feel when just picking up on the one energy. We're looking at actually both the counterparts. Power couple is really shouting out. Uh, a powerful parenting couple. We're going to read this. Card number 11. <clears throat> the Major Arcana. Half of the 1111. The Golden Rule asks us to treat others as we would like to be treated ourselves. Ah, oh, hence the swearing. We don't like to be swore at, then don't swear. Okay, I'll work on that. Thank you. My little mission for this week. Okay. When you show kindness and respect to those around you, they are drawn to you as a pillar of strength. Having the courage of your convictions will get you through any challenge, great or small. You are a very sensitive and caring soul. This is a strength, not a weakness. Don't be afraid to show your empathy for others while also standing up for yourself should you need to say no. Our fairy stands with the lion and the lamb, symbolising that there's strength within gentleness. 
The additional meanings of this card, the power of kindness, forgiving yourself and others, overcoming challenges through grace and willpower, having patience with those around you, and believing in yourself. Uh, what really shouted out was um, the forgiving energy here, forgiving yourself and others, and I know most definitely it's unconditional love when it comes to my children. It's like we do kind of have to let go of some things. Um, it's part of, you know, their cycle that they go through. And um, it really is about building this bond with your children or children that are um, surrounding you. In your environment or soon to, to become, soon to become your environment. Okay. Do you have to clean your feet in front of me? Okay, well you're not really, you're picking at them, aren't you? Licking them. Okay, let's, um... Well, can I get down and have the table? So that's what we're talking about. Now, there seems to be a challenge. Jasper got a little bit, um... unsettled then. Let's have a look at any challenges then. What's a challenge with these um, these children being brought into your environment? Um, I wanted to say, I feel as if you deserve to be the best parent that you're here to be. Not just to your own children, but to that, to our world. Um, we have the King of Autumn, it's the Divine Masculine. That is what the, uh, the challenge is. It's compassionate, accomplished, charismatic and gifted. So, Divine Masculine, you're still doubting your own belief, okay, and whether or not you're the man for this job. It's your role, it's the King of Pentacles. That is that is the, the Father card, um, the Husband card. Be assertive to come to what, <laughs> to come, be assertive to come to know to what is right. I'm, I do apologise, it doesn't say that. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way, a good person or company to work for. This is your challenge, Divine Masculine. Okay, let's turn the book up the right way. We'll just let Jasper um, do whatever ever he feels he needs to do whilst we read this last card. The, fa the fairy, <laughs> I called you a fairy, the king. You need to get some fairy wings on. We'll go like out fairy dancing <laughs> with all the children. Oh, be like the Pied Piper. Okay, the King of Autumn is the odd bird. Mm. I just spoke about this black sheep. Okay, he certainly has the Midas touch in entrepreneurial endeavours. However, unlike so many in the business world, his Midas touch affected his, his own heart and it turned to gold. Now he's out to save the earth. He can manage hundreds of people at once and still take out the recycling while calling his congressman to give him an earful. <laughs> oh. He is charming to a fault and will help anyone who asks. Maybe you need help, Divine Masculine, so ask. And if you feel that you're up for the job, come on. Perfect counterpart for this mission. He is charming to a fault and will help anyone who asks. Hurt an animal and you'll find yourself on his bad side and you don't want to be there. Trust us. Ooh. I haven't even asked you to move, Jasper. Okay. This king loves the finer things in life and therefore tends to work very hard. Too hard. Where's your spouse, you ask? Oh, he's at the office. He's on the road. He's at that protest march. Don't worry, he'll get back home eventually. <laughs> Divine masculine, that's fucking awesome. <gasps> I swore. Shh, sugar lumps. Divine masculine. <laughs> this is the divine feminine. People saying to the divine feminine, well, where's your divine masculine? And it's like, oh, he's at the office. He's on the road. He's at the protest march. Don't worry, he'll get back home eventually. <laughs> the King of Autumn sits on his throne with, with fully mature grapes hanging all around him. 
the grape symbolise the abundance he has created, while the German shepherd at his side, I didn't even realise he had a dog down, the German shepherd at his side reflects his ability to safeguard his prosperity. Oh, he's been on guard though, he's been watching. Additional meanings of this card, a generous and compassionate employer, a natural business sense, fighting for what's right, a thriving career, nearing retirement. You can paint yourself out, divine masculine, you keep working so hard, away from your divine feminine. Okay, so the trouble is coming together. Been away for a while. Standing up for your own causes. Okay, well, I feel like you're required to ask for help for your cause now. Okay, um, there's a challenge. <sighs> Jas, should you have a look at what's gone on in the past? You'd rather not. Okay, try not to spill my coffee. Shake your head. Should I just miss that part? We can cover it briefly. No? Okay, he keeps shaking his head, guys. It's like you're dribbling. Just what I need to buy a bit of tissue. What's going on? Are you crying? Divine masculine, are you crying? It's like tears on that, um, look like tears on this child card. Okay. That energy there made me feel as if, um, because it says here, the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. And I feel like you might be um, in a little bit of a regretful mood. I'm a regretful mood. Okay, this too shall pass. Feeling um, guilty about not really providing the best that you could have done up till now. Don't worry, that's all going to change. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Okay, and don't let guilt or fear or shame get in the way. You can make up for lost time if you look at it as being lost time. I imagine there were some really valuable lessons that were learned. So let's have a look at what's gone on in the past, in the past energy. Remember, it's a past energy, so let's not focus on it too much. Don't want to dwell in the past. King of Winter. Now that's completely opposite to the King of Autumn. Okay. Knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded and unemotional. Get advice from someone professional and objective, public speaking, unemotional relationships. So you put your children maybe, or you've been surrounding yourself with an unemotional relationship, uh, which isn't really, you know, a great example to rub off on children around you that, you know, you don't show your emotions and it feels like there wasn't much love here. Well, let's have a look at it quickly then. King of Winter. No point crying over spilt milk. <laughs> so it looks like you had to sort some legal advice here. So a divorce may have been on the cards. A separation of a family unit. Very tough. But once uh, you've kind of... Things are settled down and you're settled into it, you normally realise it was the best thing that you were ever done. So it looks like you're just about to do another one of those acts where it's going to be the best thing that you've ever done for yourself and for your children, your environment. Your community, your followers. Okay, the King of Winter is fair, impartial and completely professional. Uh, so it could have been quite regimented within the home. It feels like it was more maybe of a business agreement rather than a, a love uh, connection. If you're looking for someone to give you flawless advice, he's your guy. If you're seeking a speaker for your event, who will impress everyone in the audience, book him right away. If you need a new chief executive officer for your company, sign him up. So in the past, you've been very uh, business, money-orientated by masculine. 
uh, it's more about progressing in your career than actually kind of um, feels like you've neglected your home life. If you need a new Chief Executive Officer for your company, sign him up. He will require a healthy bonus. He can even be an incredible humanitarian if he believes in the cause. And that's where you've been. You've been off, you know, fighting for your own causes. However, if you're seeking a romantic partner, you may want to walk right on by. So you wasn't ready? No? Are you ready now? We're going to get to the now soon. Okay. However, if you're seeking a romantic partner, you may want to walk right on by. It's not that he's a bad fella. On the contrary, he's quite amazing. He just shook his head. Yes, you are. You're very loving. Okay, maybe not all the time. He's just not really built for heart-to-heart -heart talks. Candlelit dinners, cuddling or walks on the beach. The romantic within you would be frustrated with this king as a partner. The king of winter walks in happy solitude with his friend the owl. Wisdom and the intellect are the only companionship he needs. Okay, additional meanings of this card. College professors, public speaking, brilliant ideas, dealing with the government and unemotional relationships. Well, it looks like that's in the past. So, let's leave it there. Jasper, put that there. Right over there. <laughs> Shall we look at how you are now? <gasps> That's what you're going to. Have you cleaned up your act? Well, let's see what comes out. Um, let me just take that. Take on. Okay. Oh, you want to have a look? Do you want to have a look first? <laughs> Let's have a look at the now energy. Oh, look. In the now energy, it's the Divine Feminine, the Nine of Autumn, the Nine of Pentacles, which we call our Divine Feminine card. Reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed. And Divine Feminine, you're cherishing your time alone. So it looks like you're in a perfect situation for this. Um, okay, Divine Masculine is not going to tell us how he is right now. We might get a glimpse of it in the future. Um, let's go to the Nine of Autumn. Ah, oh, Divine Feminine. Ah, oh, it's time to reward yourself for your wonderful achievements. You've accomplished a great deal. Oh, you've accomplished a great deal. There's a great deal on the table here, guys. And you deserve a little relaxation, nurturing and peace. Enjoy the fruits of your labour. Do something that feels truly luxurious and self-loving. You've worked very hard. It's healthy to honour yourself in some small or large way as an incentive to keep your forward progress going. <clears throat> oh, got a bit choked up then. After all, you earned it. What's coming on? What's coming on? It's coming on. It's coming on. It's coming on. It's there. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, got the gorillas on the scene. <sighs> Hundred monkeys, man. We're going into like gorillas. They ain't no monkey. They're not monkeying, monkeying around. Jeez. Okay. Got the silver back <laughs> coming. We're bringing that sexy bag. Yeah. Okay. A very successful fairy enjoys the beautiful music from her harp while the fruits of her labour ripen around her. And look how this harp is soothing the children. Additional meanings of this card being happily self-employed, creating a beautiful environment, enjoying the finer things in life and cherishing your time alone. You're feeling very satisfied, Divine Feminine. Okay. Let's have a look into the future. Let's have a glimpse into the future then.
Four of Summer, looking into the future, the Four of Summer, being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity, taking someone or something for granted, discontentment with life. Mm. We're not allowed to know too much, guys, about this. This is the masculine's energy. Um, Divine Feminine, you're in this element of uh, feeling very uh, rewarded, nurtured, luxurious. This could be um, when you ask for more people to help and assist, they're sent your way. And um, so I feel like your work life, your purpose, your passion, your passion for purpose is being really ignited here, which is kind of taking your mind off of the Divine Masculine. His mind's completely on you. Um, he's being distracted and he's failing to see a magical opportunity or he knows he has failed to see one. He's taking someone or something for granted and he's very discontented with his life. Divine Feminine, I feel like you're daydreaming here and then it's, you have the little Cupid here. He's like saying, can you see me? Look, you're not seeing me. I feel like where um, the Divine Masculine was always kind of on the road, you know, um, working hard. This is you now. This is your energy. Uh, you're kind of focusing on your work and providing for yourself. But we have the King of Autumn here. Um, he's challenged by this. Let's read this uh, for Summer, the Four of Cups. Daily life can be full of hectic activities. You could grow distracted and not notice opportunities that are being offered to you. You may become so focused on what you don't have that you completely discount the gifts that you have been given. And I feel this is really um, the Divine Masculine explaining kind of what's gone on in the past. He discounted uh, this connection, this opportunity, and focused really on the wrong things and in the wrong areas. But hey, I feel that's all changing. It's very important to spend time in nature, to take time to quiet your mind and heart. When doing so, you can ask God, the angels and the fairies for messages about what opportunities are around you that you may not be seeing. Heaven is always offering you magical presence, but you have to be open to experiencing these gifts. A fairy stands in prayer, in a prayer-like pose, clearly wonder. sorry, I said wondering. Let's keep it like that. So, a fairy stands in a prayer-like pose, clearly wondering over what she feels she has lost. Hmm. Meanwhile, wonderful new opportunities beg for her to take notice of them. So the world was actually worrying, and I don't feel the divine feminine is worrying anymore. Because it, it was meant to say, if every stands in a prayer-like pose, I feel that's you, divine masculine, as the little as the little one now, clearly worrying over what he feels he has lost. Meanwhile, what wonderful new opportunities beg for him to take notice of them. Okay, the additional meanings of this card, <clears throat> let's get the words out. Taking someone or something for granted, the power of meditation, a lack of motivation, not seeing the forest for the trees, and daydreaming. So if the Divine Masculine looks like now he's going to go into this daydreaming mode, he might go into a little bit of this, I uh, picked up on feeling ashamed, uh, regretful maybe. I don't feel resentful at all. I don't feel the Divine Masculine is resentful towards the Divine Feminine. I feel actually he's just feeling, um, I was going to swear, a load of regret. <laughs> he's carrying the load. That's what it looks like um, the future energy is. It's going to weigh on him. Let's have a look at what assistance is helping behind the scenes. The Magician. Hey, it's nice to see the magician. I've got like, and as I say that, I don't know if you're going to be able to catch this on camera, but there's a little black fly. It's tiny, flying around. You might not because I'm actually wearing black. Would you like to come and land on my hand? <laughs> Sorry. The magician, you can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. So Divine Masculine, got the energy of the magician here. To show you how to use all the tools. We spoke about this yesterday. The Four Meets the Magician. The assistants have opened up to like the infra for you, Divine Masculine. 
all I keep singing in my head is, and I don't actually know the words, but it's like, we're gonna build castles from the, I don't know the best of it, from the rhythm of your love, the rhythm of your love. That's the song that just keeps going through. We're gonna build castles from the rhythm of your love. I don't know if they're the words, guys. Uh, we could, I don't even know who sings it. It's a song called Castles. It's, um, or they say castles. Listen, castle for me. I lived on Castle Road. Number, number 207, Castle Road. That's where I lived. It's 1212. Um, so I say it castles. My children say castles. And uh, grass, I say grass. They say bath. And I say bath. <laughs> How am I doing with the swearing today? <clears throat> We've got to take it off of our aeroplane mode. And we're looking for castles. Okay. If I just put castles into like Google, you don't know what it's going to come up with. So I'll put castle song. I think it might be that by that person there. Freya. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I'll be able to tell by the chorus. I'm going to build castles from the, oh, not from the rhythm of your love. It's from the rubble of your love. Should we listen to these words? Oh, we're not going to play it. Castles. Okay. Throw your ride, ridings. Okay. You left my love. You hit the target. You got that rush. And then you walk out the door. You keep me small. It's what you wanted. I never noticed. You held my hand in the darkness. I didn't care. It made me just want you more. My God, your love, it seemed so harmless. I never noticed. And I hate that you're gone. And I hate that I don't want to let go. And I hate that you think that I'm weak because I don't want to let you know. I'm going to build castles from the rubble of your love, from the rubble of your love. I'm going to be more than you ever thought I was. You ever thought I was. Ooh. <laughs> Each time you left, there was a hunger. I felt so dead. I couldn't take any more. Losing your love, it left me stronger. I never noticed. And I hate that you're gone. And I hate that I don't want to let go. And I hate that you think that I'm weak. Because I don't want to let you know. That I'm going to build castles from the rubble of your love. From the rubble of your love. I'm going to be more than you ever thought I was. You ever thought I was. Wow, so maybe the Divine Masculine's building castles from the rubble of this love. And the Divine Feminine's building castles from the rhythm of this love. The rhythm is gonna get you. Rhythm is gonna get you. Ooh. Rhythm is gonna get you. Tonight. Deal, 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 deal. Ole, ole. Ole, ole. Let's read The Magician. There's nothing you can't accomplish. The fairies are magical and can help you manifest whatever you need in order to be a success. The resources you require will just miraculously appear. Money, innovative ideas, creative abilities, or friends who are willing to help out. Understanding what you already have versus what you're in need of allows the fairies to send you the perfect gifts. You have amazing skill and creative talents that you can rely on. However, it's also wise to seek out good advice from experienced people. Allow others to open doors for you or make introductions to those who can point you in the right direction. A magician has accomplished his climb to the Glast Glastonbury Tour, where he assessed additional... Sorry, he didn't assess, he accessed where he accessed additional wisdom and protection. Now he is walking along the easier part of the path, toward the base of the mountain. Additional meanings of this card take in charge of your life, the ability to do anything. Success due to excellent training. The talent to accomplish great things, visualising your hopes and dreams. <laughs> Oliver was coming through. I'll do anything for one kiss. Anything 
Yes, I'll do anything, anything, anything for you. Would you go to Timbuktu? Anything. Ride a kangaroo? Anything. I don't even, actually I've never seen Oliver, but we know the tunes. I'll do anything, anything, anything for you. Okay, how are you feeling? <laughs> Life experience, oh yes, the towers here. It was all experience, wasn't it? It was an experience. Okay, to be experienced, like no other. So let's have a look at this. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event, a situation that leads to significant opportunities. Is this the feminine and masculine together here? Because this is where we started off. Being like a sweet 16 again. Let's go again. Life experience. Seeing as he's come down from the tower on his own, uh, I believe this is the masculine's uh, experience that's kind of going on on this table at the moment. Change can be disconcerting, but it doesn't have to be something to fear. You're loved by the divine, and whatever new opportunities come your way are meant to make your life richer and more fulfilling. Ask God, the angels, and the fairies to provide signs that will lead you toward everything that's vibrant and uplifting. Keep your eyes on the future. What transitions do you see coming? How might you plan and prepare in order to continue on your path to happiness? If you watch the skies for coming challenges, then you can weather any storm and move on to new, exciting, peaceful horizons. Look for the sky. You'll see the warnings coming. You can control that weather, you know. Okay. So if you watch the skies for coming challenges, then you can weather any storm and move on to new, exciting, peaceful horizons. Our fairy friends stand before the tour of St. Michael, ready to pray for guidance and direction about the next step to take. Divine masculine, divine feminine, both. You need to pray for guidance and direction about the next step to take. Additional meanings of this card, the need for significant change, spiritual awakening, seeing the truth, releasing belief systems that no longer work for you, and wake up calls. Wake up, boo. There's so many things for us to do. How is this going to affect others? Will it bring up the children about how this will affect them? Justice. Well, there are two little ones here. So um, this is beautiful. How this affects others, affects our whole world. Justice here. Card number eight, that infinity symbol. Justice with the strength card. The sword of St. Michael there. <laughs> Take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end, fair and objective decisions. So because there's children here, you may have to um, get involved with some legal um, stuff when it comes to the children. Let's read what the card um, says though. So there may still be some challenges here, but remember you can weather that storm. So it's like you've got a heads up. You'll know when to expect maybe a challenge. And you're going to know how to respond to it. You have to have faith and um, belief in the divine when it comes to when you're working with children and the justice system. Okay. This is a time when it's important to stick to your principles. Trust that your opinions are correct. And time will make that evident to everyone. Okay, so I feel that this is about the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine definitely having 
children's best needs um, at the core of their soul, their heart, uh, that might may not come across as being evident to everyone, but it, but it will do in due course. Okay. Don't allow others to talk you out of your beliefs or priorities. Remember to be impartial and objective when asked to make choices that involve other people. However, objective, ob sorry. However, objectivity must also be countervailed with compassion. When this card is drawn, you can be assured that situations will turn out in your favour. Your sides will be seen clearly in meditation. It doesn't say that, but that's a that's a, a good um, clue, isn't it? Your side will be seen clearly in meditation. If you go into meditation, I feel like this is a divine masculine needing to somehow um, want to be like the main role model within his children's lives. Okay, and if it's a masculine and you're up against a feminine, um, the mother of the children, you're going to have maybe a little bit of a baton on your hands just because of the um, the gender, I want to say really. It's, it's kind of the norm. doesn't mean that it's correct, but it's kind of the norm that's feminine. We'll get the children because society feels that that's what's best for the children to be around their mother, not be taken away from the mother. Okay, so, um, so your side will be seen clearly in meditation and I feel divine masculine, you are going to know what to do when it comes to this case. It says your side will be clear, with seen clearly in mediation, legal rulings and decisions made by those in power. Our fairy twins stand before Excalibur, the legendary sword of King Arthur. This sword was known to only avow those who were worthy and true of heart. Okay, you don't need to fight this fight. Divine's fighting it for you, really. There is no fight going on. Love will conquer all in due time additional meaning of this card becoming clear on your goals being an advocate for the truth fair and objective judgments making well thought out decisions standing up for what's right and carefully reviewing documents before signing them yeah don't get yourself caught and trapped into um, anything else divine masculine or divine feminine whoever it's resonating with um should we have a look at the hopes and fears? I loved how it mentioned about the twins here. Divine masculine, divine feminine, twin flames. These twin fairies. Oh, lovely. I was hoping that there wouldn't be any um, challenges, hopes, fears. This is unconditional love. Give me a little song. Oh lovely ace of summer open your heart to love the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies um ain't no stopping us now we're on the move okay there's there's nothing that's going to get in the way of this love divine masculine is going to do anything 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 for you Nice energy in the air. Oh, we've gone to the Ace of Spring. Someone's got a spring in their step. Let's go to summer. We are still in summer. Come on. This card indicates that a very rewarding and joyful relationship is about to begin. It may be with a new person who enters your life, or it can represent a new phase of emotional intimacy with a current partner. In order to attain fulfilment in your emotional life, you must first open your heart to love. This includes believing in yourself and your worthiness to be loved. That's the key. This includes believing in yourself and your worthy, the worthiness to be loved. When faced with an outpouring of affection, allow love to flow freely from your own heart, knowing that you deserve it in return. There's some kind of deal that's on the table. It's a big deal. Like, this is a big deal. Um, for the Divine Masculine, okay? And it's going to mean a big deal to you, Divine Feminine. 
This card can also indicate the awakening of new psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Watch for signs from the fairies and allow your intuition to guide you through your current situation. Our fairy friend stands at the base of the Chalice Well in Glastonbury, where the Holy Grail is said to have been buried by Joseph of Arimathea, a disciple of Jesus. Additional meanings of this card. A message of love, flirtation, empathy for those around you, very close platonic relationships and finding a new home. He's been away from home for so long he's got himself a bit lost. Okay. Feels like the Divine Masculine doesn't really feel that he has anywhere that he belongs as of yet. Let's look at the outcome. The High Priestess. So that's our intuition, guys. Hermit. I don't know why they came out like that, but they're in twos. Oh, there's three there. We just got two for that one, yes. The High Priestess. This is the outcome. Trusting your intuition. Careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. Okay. So I've been told to go within, okay? That's the Akashic Records now. Everything that you need to know regarding past, present, future stored within the Akashic re Records. High Priestess opened up to the Emperor again. The High Priestess comes to assure you that your spiritual gifts are real and your intuitive insights are accurate. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just... It's too evident, isn't it, guys? So it's nice to know that you're kind of spot on. She wants you to know that nothing in spirituality is secret anymore. So the Divine Masculine is very aware. He's been enlightened, guys. So don't doubt that. Therefore, she presents to you all the wisdom she's accumulated in the hopes that you'll use it to gain great insights about yourself. The most important revelations come from within. Try spending time in meditation or going on a long, reflective walks in nature. Ask yourself, what is it that I truly want? Am I following my own path or just trying to make others happy? Happiness comes from the knowledge that the choices you are making are for your highest, greatest good. Your body is a powerful, intuitive tool that can lead you in the right direction. Okay, well, we've got the magician down here. I feel like the Divine Feminine, you've really shown the Divine Masculine how to use uh, these tools, these tricks of the trade. Okay. Pay attention to your emotional responses to various options offered to you and treat them as a compass that will guide you along the way. This card indicates that your psychic abilities are very strong right now. You can trust what your instincts are telling you about situations and people. Our High Priestess stands before the ruins of the Glastonbury Abbey, which was the site of religious and political disagreements. With her open book, the High Priestess is symbolic of acceptance of the many spiritual paths to God's love. No judgment there. Spirituality, it's not a religion. It's a way of being. And uh, spiritual people don't judge religions. We try not to judge, full stop. Divine does that for us. Okay, the additional meanings of this card. Important nighttime dreams. Spiritual knowledge on enlightenment. Making plans before taking action. Gathering information in order to come to a later decision. And keeping your strategies to yourself for now. Divine Feminine, it isn't for you to be the one to reach out for the Divine Masculine. He's the one that's, um, that's coming forth here. You're already moving along and being your past already been lined up for you. Okay, so ask to be shown the way. What's the next card for the Divine Feminine? Well, it is, and it's a Divine Masculine coming in. Prince of Spring, he's charming, self-confident, passionate and restless. Okay, immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage and a passionate relationship. In comes the Divine Masculine. It's like he's managed to find um, I was the tortoise, that's what I was going to say. 
<laughs> he's on the hair up. We would normally say that a slow and steady wins the race, but um, he comes in on last place. It was like, now that you're in your flow, Divine Feminine, slow and steady, wins the race, and in comes the Divine Masculine, finally, on his hair. The tortoise and the hair. Okay. Prince of Spring. Got a spring in his step now. Prince of Wands, guys. Passionate. But he's restless. This is the proverbial knight in shining armour. And he's here to help you in whatever way he's needed. Anything, anything, anything for you. There's no task too big and no detail too small. That he won't rush in and take charge of it. <laughs> okay, so he's on a mission. Oh. If you need something done now, he's your guy. As an endless optimist, he's always smiling while he works. And once a job is done, you'll probably get a happy wink from him as well. Cheeky fella. Our prince is charming and courageous, confident and oh my, so busy. But I feel like he's busy taking care of your needs now, Divine Feminine. He's fighting your cause. Does he need to fight it? He wants to. Okay. Our prince... Our prince is charming, I was going to call him, our prince charming <laughs> is courageous, confident and oh my, so busy. That's because he wants to see everything, do everything, experience everything. Of course, if there's a lull in the action at the moment, you may find yourself with a very bored prince. A bored prince can be a grumpy and impatient prince. It's hard for him to really relax and kick back when there's just so much to accomplish out there in the world. On, on the card, the prince rides a rabbit. Sorry, so there's a hare. <laughs> He's got himself a rampant rabbit here. Where's he off with that? I wonder. On the card, the prince rides a rabbit, moving quickly from one adventure to another. Rabbits are known to be particularly active in the springtime, just like our prince. Well, who knows? Let's not go into that. Additional meanings of this card. Feeling alive. The urge to get busy. Handling many things at once. Issues that require speedy decisions and action and a desire for adventure. Okay. Ah, oh, beautiful outcome. There's the connection, guys. The four of wands, the four of spring. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life. Gratitude is a powerful manifesting energy in the universe, helping you great, gracefully dance with the magical light-footedness of the fairies. You do a little happy dance, Divine Feminine. I think you're going to be knocked off your feet, swept off your feet, sorry. Taking time to say thank you to your family, co-workers, the fairies and God creates a circular flow that brings even more abundance. Every day, give thanks for something in your life you can do so aloud or just in your prayers. This card can also indicate new reasons to celebrate that will soon make themselves known. You may need to set aside some time for social events, such as weddings, housewarmings, baby showers, or other parties to acknowledge a milestone or advancement. A happy couple join in a dance of gratitude amid a field of flowers. In the background, is the castle that they have built. I'm gonna build castles. Okay, I love it. In the background is the castle that they have built, representing the great abundance they have worked so hard to attain. Additional meanings of this card, feeling that life is wonderful, pride in your accomplishments, a deep sense of peace and happiness, a contented personal life, and a new home for a new beginning. We've still got the hermit here. Okay. So, find or be a mentor. Take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth. I do feel, Divine Feminine, this is still your energy, because we've asked for, okay, um, 
people to help. But I do feel as if you're actually, you've already been in this mode, okay, naturally just helping others. If you want to advance, you know, your business at this time, then ask and you will be sent the right people and the right, um, not just quantity, the right quality of people to be able to assist, okay, so you don't have to worry about your, uh, whether or not you're qualified. Um, find or be a mentor, take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth, but I do feel if you've been, like, giving, and um, it's time for now for you to receive, it could be time for you to receive some more, some new knowledge, okay, that you're going to be able to go on and help others with. Now, it did pick up about, where did it pick up about the Divine Feminine being quite busy in the Nine of Autumn energy? And it's like, don't get too busy, um, kind of like the masculine energy did, where they couldn't even tap into their spirituality, they didn't have another moment to breathe, they forgot to breathe, really. And so make sure, Divine Feminine, you're still getting out into nature if you are busy working, uh, and studying personal development, because you're going to come across some new insights, so... I know that's one that I need to commit to this week is really um, on my reading and um, personal development books and also on audios. Okay, and see what um, enlightens us for now. Because it feels very much masculine's coming in, but we're just focusing on us and our mission work. So find or be a mentor, take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth. Your spiritual growth, Divine Feminine. Listen, you don't know how awakened your Divine Masculine is going to be, okay? He could be very um, enlightened. And it could be you, Divine Feminine, uh, on a bit of catch-up. Okay. You are never alone. Even when it appears that way, you are actually surrounded by God, the angels and the fairies who want to help you. You can ask them for assistance at any time and they will illuminate your path to peace and happiness. It's important to always shine your light so that other people can follow in your footsteps. In this way you are a beacon of inspiration for them. So this is always about expanding our comfort zone. You don't want to get too settled where you are divine feminine, okay? In this way you are a beacon of inspiration for them. Emulate the kind of person you admire so that others may learn from you as well. It may even be time for you to begin teaching or acting as a mentor to those in need of direction. Our hermit holds a gilded Star of David, symbol symbolic of celestial guidance and the lineage, lineage of biblical King David. Additional meanings of this card, taking a peaceful break from society, pondering the mysteries of life, searching for enlightenment, Reconnecting with Source. And here, well, we kind of end the reading with the Princess of Winter. Inquisitive, truthful, realistic and undiplomatic. And we seem to have the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine again here. We're just looking a lot more enlightened. Look at the colours. With all this kind of indigo, violet, purpley. Well, it's not really even purple. It's pinky. Ooh. Can a lion change his spots? He didn't have spots, silly. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he can change his hair. <laughs> Let's read what the Princess of Winter wants to say. <clears throat> information that can help you but which may also be difficult to hear speaking the truth with kindness an indigo child or adult um, whatever's gone on I felt like when we were doing the first part we're looking into the past as well of maybe regrets um, it may be hard for you to hear what your divine counterpart's been through and I'm not going to kind of um, put that to just one side because I feel that there's a lot of truths that need to come out and um, you're going to really find out kind of what happened, um, what truly went on during your um, so-called separation phase. Okay, Princess of Winter then, the outcome. 
Now this is the um, the page of swords. So this has an energy of um, stalking, keeping an eye on each other. It's kind of like you are always on my mind. Okay, you are always on my mind. Tell me, tell me that your sweet love hasn't died. So, for one, you might be wanting to check up to see whether or not your counterpart's actually alive, um, alive and kicking, or I believe it actually means just tell me that your sweet love hasn't died for me. <laughs> okay. The Princess of Winter is a student of the intellect. She endless, She's endlessly curious about everything. She can... Oh, how do I say this word? differentiate the truth from a lie in seconds and knows facts and figures that will astound you. Divine Feminine's energy. So the Divine Feminine, she's been very tapped in and all that she believed to be going on uh, was accurate, was true. If there's an exciting new idea being tossed around, you can bet your last dollar that the princess was in the concept, was in on the concept from the beginning. You're going to receive a lot of clarification, Divine Feminine, when the Divine Masculine decides to open up. Okay. So if there's an exciting new idea being tossed around, you can bet your last dollar that this princess was in on the concept from the beginning. She is logical and realistic, but that can make her a bit difficult to get close to. It is one of the, um, I was kind of, I was actually thinking about this uh, last night about how it's quite hard to be with someone who kind of, you know, can see through lies, uh, has this intuitive knowing of what to expect or when there's trouble coming. It's kind of like you've got your own little warning system with you when you're kind of with someone who is um, spiritually aligned. But that doesn't mean that we kind of walk around like that and that's all we do talk about. Um, so it, it, it is quite tough to be around someone who can see straight through you and straight through the deceits and the lies. And especially if they try to obviously warn you and help you um, and point things out to you. So she is logical and realistic, but that can make her a bit difficult to get close to. She keeps her emotions fairly well guarded. She can also, I don't believe that she keeps her emotions fairly well guarded. I believe that she's emotionally stable. So can, um, I feel like it's more like fluently express her emotions. Um, and if you're with someone that doesn't find that easy, then um, I do, I remember my husband saying to me, he was like, Lucy, I can't express myself the way that you do. And you have to just kind of accept that not everyone is very quick off the mark. Okay. She can also have a harsh tongue, and I feel that that's due to maybe, you know, feeling as if you're, you know, well, why not? It's quite, it's quite easy, so we, we can get frustrated, but um, an evolved Divine Feminine would um, realise those, um, those traits that she, that she holds, and she can use her tongue to be quite harsh. It's about, um, about this thinking before you speak, okay, so she can also have a harsh tongue speaking without thinking, truly she didn't mean to hurt your feelings, she was just being bluntly honest, and it is something that we all have to like pick ourselves up on, um, especially as we're evolving, don't want to become that Mr and Mrs know-it-all, no one likes a know-it-all, so truly she didn't mean to hurt your feelings, she was just being bluntly honest, so try to focus on the message, not the messenger. But if but if she can continually display but if she can, okay. So it is a choice. <laughs> but if she continually displays hurtful behaviour, you don't have to hang out with her. So you might actually uncover things that you've both said to each other that have hurt your feelings that maybe you wasn't aware of. And I do think that you have to be truthful and kind of speak up about those, even if you feel that they're silly things. Um, I believe it's best to be honest. 
It's um, how you how you discuss it. And you've both got to kind of want... It's a bit of a give and take here. Giving and receiving. I don't like the give and take. Giving and receiving. Okay. Truthful communication here. But, so, but if she continually displays hurtful behaviour, you don't have to hang out with her. The little fairy from the Ace of Winter is now an adult, as is her companion. So this is kind of stuff that's gone on in the past. And hopefully both of you have really kind of grown up and matured now. And be at the stage where you can actually talk about what happened. So the little fairy from the Ace of Winter is now an adult, as is her companion. She has grown fully into her inner strength and is now a powerful young woman. But be careful, her words can be as fierce as her companion's growl. <laughs> oh, okay. So I feel that there's an understanding between the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. They get each other's language, okay? Still to others, they might, because of this truthful aspect that lies within them, um, others might, might find that they can come across as being quite harsh, okay? <laughs> Additional meanings of this card. An unpredictable person or situation. The need to communicate clearly. An indigo child or adult. Assertiveness. Assertiveness, I like this one, objective feedback. That's a beautiful reading, guys. Let me end on a roomie. So much re um, reading was done, like from the book, but so worth it. That was an awesome story, situation. Experience that's on its way to be experienced. Do you not agree? I hope we're in agreement. Okay. Let's end on a roomie. This was a long reading. One hour and seven minutes and four seconds. About the average there. Oh, I feel like I got all choked up then, as if, okay, what's this card going to be then? <clears throat> all a bit choked up as if I couldn't speak anymore. Oh, who's the star of Venus? Card number 26. We're going to build castles for the magic of our love. <laughs> Just change the words, Lucy. Well, it doesn't normally stop me, does it? No. Okay. How do we do it with the swearing stage? I don't reckon I was too bad. Might have had a couple little slip-ups. Okay. Early days, early days. Oh, look at this. It's such a beautiful colour, look. I'm going to hold it like that, guys. I am the pure light, my son. I am not a handful of worthless dust. I am not just an empty shell. I am a regal pearl, formed in this world. Close your eyes to see and become aware of me. Perceive me with eyes that see the, that see the unseen. Come into the mystery to find me. I am a carefree visitor here for you. Rumi. My beautiful one, Born of pure radiance, you have love in your heart and a passion for play that cannot be dulled by bleakness, boredom or, or fear. Oh, trying to rush to get the words out, okay. But we're a little bit shaky, but I quite like holding these cards up like that. My beautiful one, born of pure radiance, you have love in your heart and a passion for play that cannot be dulled by bleakness, boredom or fear. Your soul is sensual and dances with life with utter abandonment and devotion. Though the ways of this world seem strange to you at times, you eventually declare it to be nothing more but strange beauty and expand your heart, resisting nothing, to allow all to be bathed in your radiance, in the radiance of your being. You are here to share the light of another world, a blessed world of consciousness pure and divinity so absolute that it transcends duality and instead brings all into the oneness of the greatest love. 
the Hermit. <clears throat> the Star of Venus is the Great Angergine, neither solely masculine nor feminine, but an integration of both. Wow. The power it bestows is mighty and based utterly in love. When this star seeks us out, mul multiple blessings are bestowed and our spiritual growth can be accelerated in ways that may be quite dazzling and surprising to our more limited mindset and belief systems. With great blessings, great growth is possible. However, the blessings don't do the growth for us, making it magically appear. They give us the oomph we need, the power and the opportunities and assistance we need, yet it is still we who take the journey. The great spiritual journey for old souls at this time in Earth's history is the journey from duality to oneness. Many are signing up for that wild, loving adventure. This oracle has come to you as a reminder that you too have been granted a ticket for that journey. The journey of oneness, this journey of oneness, is not about denying duality, but about experiencing it as an expression of one love. It is about no longer being enslaved by it. It is about avoiding what is not wanted in order to pursue what is wanted. It is about embracing the all, of finding the freedom and joy originally sought but now through a path that takes you into joy and freedom existing within. To take the great transformation from man or woman into cosmic angiogyne does not require that we lose our sense of femininity or masculinity. Rather, they become so superior in development that they cease to be distinguished from each other. Our masculine clarity with its discernment Practicality and application become so tender, loving, compassionate and tempered with grace that the feminine is integrated with it. Our feminine nurturance, dedication and connection to life become so fierce that discernment and wise action naturally prevail. With this great androgynous integration of the masculine and feminine into oneness, men and women of this beautiful earth become capable of a new consciousness. It is of one based in love, of service to life, of letting go of judgment, stereotypes and limited belief systems and of opening up to compassion for all life. As the consciousness is anchored, spiritual growth becomes rapid. This is not necessarily without some bumps and bruises. Letting go of old notions of what it is to be a man or a woman, to be masculine or feminine, letting go of fear of women or men, of emasculation or victimisation, letting go of wounding are all great steps forward. They promise liberation, empowerment and compassion, as well as peace and happiness, yet they are not easy steps to take. Great resistance can be evoked within you as an individual and also within the culture around you which might find your notion of personal spiritual empowerment confronting and challenging to their culture of fear-based enslavement of the soul. They will be right about it being confronting but mistaken, but mistaken in assuming that confrontation is something best resisted. Oh, let's have a drink. So then, what to do? Our Uza, the ancient shining one, also known as the star of Venus, holds much power and strength. Even a small blessing of her light is more powerful than the fear of thousands, if not millions of people. She is known as a worthy ally in battle of any kind, even spiritual battle. You must, however, stay aligned with her way, which is not to fight fear with fear, hate with hate or anger with anger. Does this mean you should not feel fear, hate or anger? Of course not. Venus denies no experience. So let yourself feel whatever you feel. 
the guidance is not to stop being human. Take the next step into the divine human, into allowing the star blessing to nestle in your heart so you can shift as you feel the feelings, holding them with compassion, then choosing your own truths that resonate at a far more refined vibr vibration. The rebellious passion of the star of Venus is that she seeks out whomever is ready to know more fully the truth of divine oneness. Whether the culture around them can acknowledge one of their own, becoming more enlightened as a blessing or not, it is a divine gift, nevertheless. How liberating it shall feel to be truly empowered to live life as you feel is truthful and to feel completely empowered to allow others to do the same with joy in your heart. You understand that everyone is walking an unfolding path and that we don't have to understand or justify the path of another to feel peace in our own hearts. If you are stumbling with judgment within yourself, do not fear. The blessing of Venus is coming to you to help you surrender it, to help you find your way through so that you can be free now. Your guidance then is to trust your path, trust your evolution, even in the face of those around you reacting to it possibly in fear or discomfort. Trust in the paths of others too, for in truth, there is one path and we are all on it. You do not have to convince anyone of anything. That is not your job. Your job is to embrace your wisdom, embrace your freedom and empowerment to grow spiritually and live your life accordingly. You are becoming, through bestowal of grace, something more of a goddess and a god, of a human and a sacred animal integrated as one. Wow, guys, come on. With the lion heel. This is sacred alchemy, amplified in the star fires of Venus, who loves you as a brother, sister, and honours your soul with her blessing. Shine true, beloved. Shine bright. Wow. Angel of Light card. And then I'm going to get a message from the Lover's Oracle. Purpose. The angels remind you that every situation or person is placed on your path with a purpose. It may be to strengthen you, offer you an opportunity to resolve or forgive the past, release old patterns, or for enjoyment. Your life purpose is ultimately to do that which brings you joy, satisfaction, and fulfillment. Seeking these soul qualities will place you on the path of your destiny. Once on your life path, Allow nothing and no one to deflect you from your mission. Your guidance is to ask your angel to help you find your purpose of your current situation or, if you are ready, your life purpose. Align your strength and willpower and hold your intention to fulfil your purpose. The angels will support you and you will succeed. Okay, here's your affirmation. I am strong and, and determined. Okay, guys. Lover's Oracle. If you'd like to book yourself in, a, in with a reading with me, a personal reading, I am going to be doing the Celtic Crosses for £25. Um, if you can email me at thejourneyofascension at gmail.com. I'll get back to you and we'll go from there. Um, it's not going to be as long as this, but I will aim to have it as long as what it needs to be. True love is like a ghost who everyone talks about, but few have seen. Something's most definitely been seen. There are no um, secrets in the spiritual realm, we were told. 
via the High Priestess. I believe the Divine Masculine has seen his, um, his future here. He knows what he needs to do. Let's get one more. Love will die if held too tightly and love will fly if held too lightly. You've got to get the balance, guys. Love will die if held too tightly and love will fly if held too lightly. But this is a love that you definitely don't want to let go of. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> love is like a storm. You can weather those storms. Love is like a storm. It is fresh and cleansing. It is natural and essential. It is powerful and fulfilling. And nothing can get in its way. Let me just take that card up so you can see the actual image. But that's a feminine connecting there. What's he saying here? And have a little sneaky peek. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was this one. Okay. We're going to end on this note, guys. <clears throat> on this note, look on this little note. <sighs> For hearing my thoughts, understanding my dreams, and being my best friend. Fulfilling my life with joy and for loving me without end, I do. Breathe, Lucy. Remember to breathe, guys. Okay. I love you all dearly and I will catch up with you soon. So have yourself a fantastic day. And, uh, oh, it's one, two, 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 two. Okay, I'm getting off. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.